Today I'm going to talk to you about vocal chains. What you'll hear from all the experts is they're using the most expensive hardware gear. You need a great mic preamp. The truth is, I'm going to go against the grain here and say you don't. You just need a great A to D converter and you don't need an expensive mic. I actually have a MK219 microphone that I got for, I don't know, 120 bucks on Craigslist and I sent it off to Octavamod. Um, the guy's name is Jolly and he's a, a microphone expert. He took this modified it for, I don't know, anywhere from two to three hundred bucks, and this thing sounds close to like a U87. It sounds like a four thousand dollar microphone. I have this going straight in to a Duet, which is the preamp, but I don't have an Avalon, I don't have a Manly, I don't have a 1176. It's going straight in. The DDA converters are great on that. You're getting a clean signal, and you can do all of your processing virtually. You can put in a, a plug-in for the 1176, you can put in a plug-in for the 1073, you can make a virtual uh, plug-in chain, and honestly, that's how I prefer to do it. It gives you a lot more freedom. It's like reamping. You record a clean signal with the guitar, and you can use plug-ins, or you can choose to reamp it later. Let's take a look. So as you can see, um, this is my lead vocal here in this song, and this is my plug-in chain right now. So. Um, because I don't have a real um, 1073 or 1176, what I do is I go clean into my duet, and here's my chain. So um, I've got a 1073. Um, so, so basically I'm pretending or emulating what I would do if I had the hardware gear. I would most likely go into a 1073. I wouldn't EQ it. I might roll off a little bit of 45, but it's pretty much flat. I'm just using the, the circuitry to color it. Then I would go into an 1176 at unity gain. I wouldn't compress it. And why? These settings right here are exactly what some of the greatest engineers do. So I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. Um, and then so this would this would emulate you know your chain on the outside and then once you once it goes to mixing you would then use an 1176 again to compress it um and then you know i use an l1 and a deesser and then i would use like so if i had an ssl board i'd use the ssl um for eq so really this is the this is the chain right here so the eq uh, or the, the, the 1073 is your mic preamp. Um, this is the, the compressor, just a unity gain. All you're doing is using it for to color the sound. And then I'm using um, the 1176 again to, to compress it. And uh, yeah, it's all done with plugins. And um, a little bit back. Now, I don't spend this, um, I don't think I spend this amount of time on my, um, no, I just, I just do this, this, you know, spend this amount of, um, uh, plugins on, on the main vocal. On the backups, you know, you just, you don't need to color it that much because they're just, they're in the background. But, uh, hope that gives you some clarity. Um, you don't need to go out and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on external gear. You can use, you know, all of the plug-in manufacturers have emulations of these hardware units. Just line them up like this and you'll get a very similar sound to if you actually had the hardware gear. Hope that helps. You can check a link below uh, where you can check this song out and please feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great one. Bye.